Welcome to Mean Dean TV Cubed. Today we're looking at building the single tank rack. This is a simple and cheap device that stops your scuba tank rolling around in the boot of your car or on the deck of your boat. Grab yourself a standard pool noodle, about 70 mils in diameter. You can get these from most department stores. The pool noodle is approximately 1500 millimeters long. From a single pool noodle, we can construct two tank racks. Measure out four equal sections, 375 millimeters long. We'll be using a simple hot wire where the current from a battery charger is passed through a guitar string. Cut the sections using an electric carving knife, a razor blade, or a hot wire as shown here. Mark the position for the holes, 70 millimeters in from each end on all sections. To make sure the holes are in the same line, you can place the sections against a wall and measure out the same distance from the wall. I'm using 8mm rope, but you can use whatever size rope you have available. Use a drill slightly bigger than the diameter of your rope. I'm using an 8.5 drill. Drill a hole through both ends of all sections. Drill the holes through the pool needle as straight as possible so that when they break through on the other side, they'll be in the same line. Tape the rope end tight to make it easy to push through the holes. Cut two pieces of rope approximately 1200 millimetres long. Any excess will be cut off later. Push the rope through the holes in one end of the first section of the pool noodle. Continue pushing the rope through a second section of pool noodle. Push the rope through the remaining hole in the pool noodle you've just threaded. Then push the rope through the remaining hole in the first section of the pool noodle. Pull the rope tight against the back of the second section and make each free end approximately the same length. Position the pool noodles so that they are approximately 120 millimeters apart. Bend the ropes at right angles where they exit the pool noodle. This will show you where the two ropes meet and overlap. If the ends of the rope are melted together, you'll need to cut the strands loose on both ends. Untwist a section of rope back to the point where the ropes met previously. Push the ropes together so the strands on the right hand side alternate between the strands on the left. Hold on to one side of the strands and the rope together and tape off the other side of the rope and strands. Take one of the free strands and place it over the adjacent restricted strand and under the next restricted strand. Repeat this process for all free strands. Here's a YouTube link for more details on splicing. Check your process. There should be a free strand coming out between every restricted strand. Continue the splicing process until you've run out of free strands. Remove the tape holding the other side and repeat the splicing process. Roll the splice between your hands a few times to fully set it into position. Cut off the excess with a hot knife or heated blade for best results. You can just cut the strands off and melt the ends using a match if you do not have a hot knife. Pull each section of the pool noodle out to the extremities of the rope and you have finished making your first tank rack. You can now make the second tank rack with your remaining material. There is a printed version of this tutorial available on my WordPress site. Visit mdtv3.wordpress.com